Hi guys, welcome to Forester Studio. Today I'm gonna talk about the bokeh. Okay, let me draw a teapot. Something 200. Okay, and a few corona light. This one. I think it's big. Big. Twenty. And I'm gonna duplicate a few. Let's say five. Mm -hmm. Just randomly a random. Yep, and in the front view, okay, something like this, and I think one more to light up this teapot. Yep. Let me all right. Corona standard material and the camera highlight to compress should be nine and nine, and the contrast should be four. That's it. Good to go. Mm hmm. What else? To activate bokeh effect, we need to create a corona camera. Stop and create a corner camera. And the bokeh effect always goes with the double fill effect. So activate double fill and decrease this number. I think 2.8 and set focus to this point. Still cannot see anything. 0 0.5 now we already have the bokeh but you cannot see it clear because it's circle so in down below in the bokeh section you can activate the override circular is mean circle bladed is mean not circle depend on the number for example three we have triangle six a or four or we can even put a bitmap to this slot but i often don't use this function okay that is the basics to activate the bokeh effect. Now we jump to another example to understand clearer about this effect. Okay, let me import an external model to our scene. Just right here, merge file. Okay, what do we have here? Wow, I can see a lot of class parts very cute so from the perspective view I'm gonna create a corona camera something like this one yep and in the camera panel or I will talk about this later later Let's run the test. Yep. Now I need to light them up by an HDRI. So, Corona Bitmap, this one. Link to Corona Color Correct and link to App 10 panel. Where is it? 
in the scene tab activate this one and link to this slot yep and don't forget highlight compress should be 999 the contrast should be 5 or 4 always mm. quite okay let me all right for faster rendering yep I may rotate the environment a bit something like this because I want to see many spot many spot like this when we activate the bokeh effect it can become blurry so that is the bokeh effect yep in the camera panel remember the bokeh effect always goes with the depth of field effect so activate the depth of field effect at first enable cannot see reduce this one down to 0 0.5 set focus to this point and here you can see many blurry spot so actually the bokeh effect is immediately and automatically activated when the depth of view effect was activated we don't need to jump to this function we don't need to jump to this section to activate this section is only to control the shape of this spot for example the blade four is a square yeah you can see square but normally six it depends on the camera structure <laughs> if you dig deeper to camera structure you will understand why six is the most reasonable number so that's it let me enable the the material all right and here we have the final bokeh effect wait a bit because now heavier to render okay now I can see so that's it for today I hope this video is useful for you and if you like please hit the like button appreciate see you until the next time take care